Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily EV and green energy news. I'm Mikey G and it's Tuesday, December 8th. Tesla has been ordered by a court to stop clearing trees at Gigafactory Berlin in order to not disturb hibernating snakes. Although Tesla is committed to planting three times as many trees as it's cut down, which so far is 90 acres, environmental groups have been fighting the project, claiming that the deforestation would negatively impact the ecosystem. Last week, Tesla had obtained approval to start clearing an additional 83 acres of forest to build another part of the factory. However, a court has now ordered Tesla to halt the deforestation effort. The Brandenburg Nature Conservation Union and the Green League have filed a lawsuit to stop the process, and the court has ordered Tesla to temporarily stop deforestation until they can make a final decision. Tesla sales have surged to a new record high of more than 21,000 vehicles in China, according to a new report from the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers. The China Passenger Car Association announced that Tesla sold 21,604 made-in-China Model 3 cars last month, a massive month-to-month and a huge 78% year-over-year increase. In terms of deliveries, Tesla has been maintaining between 10,000 and 12,000 Model 3 deliveries in the country per month throughout the year. The Model 3 is still performing well in China and was the second best-selling EV in the country behind the $5,000 Wuling Hongguang Mini. Tesla is announcing today a new $5 billion capital raise, as the automaker simply couldn't resist raising money at low dilution thanks to its insane stock price. In 2020, Tesla has already done two capital raises, $2 billion in February and now $5 billion in September. Sorry, and now today, another $5 billion, which is an at-the-market capital raise. Tesla is not financing the specific project, but instead, as Tesla puts it, to, quote, further strengthen our balance sheet as well as for general corporate purposes. This episode of Quick Charge Podcast is brought to you by Electrify America, the nation's largest coast-to-coast charging station network for electric vehicles. No matter where you're heading, they have chargers nearby. And at charging speeds up to 350 kilowatts for capable electric vehicles, they'll help you get there fast. Find out what they're up to at electrifyamerica.com. That's ElectrifyAmerica.com. Electrify America. Hello, freedom. QuantumScape unveiled the data about its new solid-state battery technology, revealing some impressive results with fast charging and long-range capacity. Solid-state batteries have long been known to have the potential for higher capacity than conventional lithium-ion batteries with liquid electrolyte. However, the industry has several challenges to overcome in order to make solid-state viable, and QuantumScape claims to have solved them all charge rate, cycle life, operating temperature, and making them anode-free. At the core of the achievement is a ceramic separator that QuantumScape has been working on since 2015. And since it's a proprietary information, the company didn't reveal much about the material. During the presentation, CEO Jagdeep Singh was clear that they need to turn their single-layer cells into multi-layer cells, multi-layer cells, (laughs) and bring those to mass production. Lexus is teasing an upcoming new electric SUV powered by the automaker's new Direct 4 drivetrain technology. Like its parent company, Toyota, Lexus has been lagging behind in electrification. But now Takashi Watanabe, Lexus Electrified Chief Engineer, and Koichi Suga, Chief Designer at Lexus, presented the new electric drivetrain at the end of the presentation. In true Toyota fashion, the drivetrain is designed for hybrid use, splitting the propulsion between the two axles. They didn't release a plan of timeline to bring at all the complete electric vehicle to production, but the company has previously indicated that it will launch its first all-electric vehicle next year. And in Electrek's green energy brief, with the arrival of mobile phones, telephone boxes really are now obsolete. And in a wonderful repurposing effort, Irish telecom company EAR and EV charging network EasyGo will replace 180 well-positioned phone boxes with EV rapid charge points for electric cars. Denmark and Norway are joining forces to build what will be the world's largest and most powerful hydrogen-fueled ferry by 2027. It will be capable of transporting 1,800 passengers between Copenhagen and Oslo. The vessel, which will be named the Europa Seaways, will be operated by DFDS and will also carry vehicles, either 380 cars or 120 trucks, on the 48-hour long round trip. It will be powered by 23-megawatt fuel cell, which is larger than any other current propulsion system. According to data from Norway's OFV, or Information Council for Road Traffic, 
The plug-in vehicle market share jumped from 60% in November of 2019 to 80% in November of 2020. And wouldn't you know it, Norway has the highest electric vehicle market penetration per capita in the world. November of 2020 showed fossil fuel sales of a combined 10.5%, a new record low. And in Electrex Green Energy Brief, Monarch Tractor is announcing a new all-electric agriculture tractor. The Monarch Tractor can be driven like a typical one, but it's also designed to operate autonomously as well as being a fleet of robotic tractors. The tractor relies on a deep learning and sensing suite to operate safely and efficiently. It includes 360-degree cameras and other sensors to avoid collisions, rolls, and collect and analyze over 240 gigabytes of crop data every day that it operates in the field. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.